opportunity, success of this power and tariqa power is this manner. That's an of the dawahs of Ibrahim and Shaitan and so have a taqwa and keep their company of the sword the truthful servants. Allah is not only addressing keep the company physically but keeping their company rohani because Allah cares more for the soul than the physicality. In your life keep the company of pious people. So easy to keep their company is that kum upon them. Their soul is high. Allah said, don't think they're dead in the grave, they're very much alive. It's the soul and the power of light and the reality of their soul is uh, free. And that soul can be anywhere that Allah wants that light to be. And those whom love them, call upon them and fulfill Allah's command. Have taqwa, have a humility, have a consciousness and keep the company of pious people. Not only physically, sometimes you may be somewhere and you can find them. They are all surrounded by unpious people at work. And we make matter. Anytime you have difficulty, something is not opening, something is, is wrong in the energy, the feeling that you have, Allah gave us many ways to reach to a power. As soon as we have the humility to call upon the madad, and asking for these only of our coming. Because Allah describes that if you want to be with me, you have to be with Nabiin, Siddhaqim, Shuhadah, and Salihim. And these are the best of company. So then this step of humility is looking upon this big Shuhadah. These only Allah, this, they reach the stations of Mushahadah which they can see, their heart is open, that they die before they die and they reach the state of perfection in which Allah opened open for them their soul from Hadith al Qudsi. They did their fad all their life and as a result they began to approach Allah with love and muhabbah and extraordinary worship. Then what Allah promised for them, be the eyes Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The scene in which you see, not your physical eyes, I mean the attribute of seeing. I'll be the hearing in which you hear. And Allah is giving Ilahi. It is that I'm going to give His hearing to you. I'm going to give you from my seeing. So you have an Ilahi vision. Godly, divinely vision. And this is good. I'll be the hearing in which you hear. Is a divinely hearing. And Allah doesn't die. So when you die, Allah gave you divinely hearing, does your hearing stop? Allah gave you my hearing. I didn't give you done your hearing. I gave you my hearing. Allah is eternal, da'in. 
that the servant who reached Hadith al Qudsi reached this reality of one. I'm like, granting, I gave you my seeing. So when the marg and the dead body comes, I'll address them with ilahi. It means they see. The body may be dead, but I'll address their soul with seeing. What kind of seeing is that? <coughs> you think only out of the grave? What kind of Allah dressing gave to them? When Allah says, I gave you my seeing. You think it's seeing from my like dreams? We can't even imagine what's seen from Allah's eyes. What type of vision is all-encompassing in the vision in the world of light? Every electron, every molecule has every element, element within it. it. Means every element has hearing in it, has seeing in it, has smelling in it, has speaking in it. So how? Like a little surah, face, every element. Allah hears through everything, but there's no, there's no element, your smallest being, more powerful than your physical understanding. So that one little atom, let's go to the smallest of it, Allah opened for it to hear. It hears, otherwise how is it taking the command of Allah what to do? How to spin, how not to leave the spin. So it must be in a state of samina wa ta'ala. It hears and obeys Allah's command with no nafs. It hears what Allah wants. It sees what Allah wants. If Allah wants the element to speak, it will speak. All the elements that come together allow you to speak. Subhanallah. The smaller has to be more powerful than the bigger. If your tongue is moving, moving by what power? With every element, Within our wujud, Allah exists within it. Allah well, gives you the lahi dress. Uh -huh. means that your hearing is eternal. Uh -huh. Go to the qab, your hearing with my hearing. Your physical tone, your body died. But I dressed you with hearing. I dressed you with seeing. I dressed you from your hands. means that your power, because Ya Allah, means your power, that which your might and your, your support. When you say, give me a hand, means what? Send me support and help. The others have done the hadith is many things that I'm, I'm putting my hand upon your hand. You know that you obey your own. Allah. Those hands in the grave, they're filled with support. When you're asking for madad, you're asking for the hand of Allah Zawajah. You're asking for the ears of Allah Zawajah. You're asking for the eyes of Allah Zawajah. And Allah Zawajah described even more that their hands are my hands and that your feet will be my feet. Means that you move the way I tell you to move. Qadam. Qadam al-Haq. Qadam al-Siddiq. Qadam muqaddam. And the students of the Qadam means that the grave, Allah will command them, go. They're cool upon you. Because the hadith of Prophet and all of these is hadith of Quran. Hadith of Prophet and you will be with whom you love. This is the key, this is the ticket. You will be with whom you love. He asked Prophet and was giving the khutbah to Jummah. And some mysterious guest in the audience stands up, says, all this preparation. All these rules, they're very heavy. A lot. What are they going to do? Put the arm. And then, we will put some more. And then, the third time, here. <coughs> what are we going to do for the arm? He has a sincerity in his heart. He says, he sees the difficulty. What are we going to do with the arm? The Prophet said, What have you prepared for the Prophet? And all these rules and say, My love for Allah is a good job. My love for you, love for Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar. He said, You'll be with whom you love. This was a big gift from Allah to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad. This was the key for the nation. Although the Amad be made unique, 
But because of love and muhabba through their heart and through their soul, the guarantee from Prophet is that if you be with whom you love, and whom you love will always be with you. You love Prophet does he leave you alone? <coughs> we just love the wrong people. Look left the right and say, I'm going to be in the grave and with these people. Love the best of what Allah loves. Love the best of Allah's creation. So when they have the love for Sayyidina Muhammad, Allah Allah. love for our shaqeen, those who love Prophet Allah, what they have then? Good manners, good adab, good etiquette. Why? Because they know the Prophet is always looking at Even Allah gives the adab and manners in the Quran, don't raise your voice in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad. Don't yell, don't scream, don't default. Even the, the khushya within the heart and the adab and manners is to be soft, to be kind, to be loving. So that to keep the presence of Nabiin, if Prophet is with you, his Ruhaniyat dressing you, because every time you make Durud the Sharif and all day long you make the Salawat, Prophet Ruhaniyat is giving back his salam to you. Best of manners, this is a companionship of life. When this companionship is following with you, you think that the Ruhaniyat of Prophet is coming along? Did Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq leave him? No. So this Prophet is moving to you. Who's coming? All Siddiqin. They never left the side of Prophet. If Prophet loves someone, they love them. This is how Allah is a teaching. You want to be with me? Love Nabiin. Why? Because everyone's going to follow Nabiin. Everyone's going to follow. Siddiqin are all coming. Prophet is going to that majlis, we are going. If the Siddiqs are going, then who's coming behind them? Or Mashaykh, who are? Shuhada. They died in the way of Allah. Their physicality died in their seclusions and in their training as a result. Allah opened for them to operate from their life and from their soul. And if the shuhada are going, then who's coming with them? The murids, who are all salihin. They've been trained by this way of life and to open their heart and to have good manners, to be well-spoken, to be ambassadors of muhabbat and ishq and good character. No backbiting, no lying. Because they have a, a taqwa and a fear of Allah And Prophet from Allah is a company of them. How many could he provide in the presence of Prophet? How they going to cheat and steal and, and make bad words to people? So it means this is the immensity of the gift that Allah gave to the nation is just love, follow, and understand. As a result, you begin to call the mother. You call the madad and immense support begins to come. Immense love begins to come. And the turuqs means these are the path. This is the path in, into the way of the divine presence to teach the manners. They give birth aura and etiquette. means recite this adab daily. Daily make your salawats. Why? So that to keep the companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad. Keep the teachings of the Turuks and the Tariqah, whom they teach good manners and good character. If somebody wants to only focus on Quran, 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 but don't teach you how to have good manners, you're making a zalim. Because he's going to use the word of Allah mixed with bad character and begin to attack people as if he has a right. So what was the character that Allah described of these Rijal, which is Surah the Kaf? So anybody who wants to know where is Tariqa in the Quran, is the whole of Quran is Tariqa. But the manners and the curriculum of this school in every Tariqa school is from Surah the Kaf. 
This is the mannerism in which Allah gave on how to accompany pious people. And he gave the highest one Sayyidina Musa to show that he is Karimullah. So then Allah sets the criteria that I don't care what station you think you are. Because I'm giving you an example of one who speaks to me. So his station very high to show our mountain knowledge and the ilm so that I can become rushed. Means the knowledge I have, I know there's a much greater knowledge. I want the knowledge of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Two rivers. The river of La ilaha illallah and the river of Muhammadun Rasulullah but we have like Zulfiqar. Zulfiqar was from Prophet Allah gave to Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet gave it as a gift to Imam Ali that you stand at the gate and take the head off of people. Right? So the first zikr of tariqah, La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Take your head. La on your head. Your head not going to know the heavenly kingdom. Don't let your head fool you to think you know something. So means the first training but they don't use your head, use your heart to find Allah's job. Don't use your head to analyze everything. Use your heart. Come with ishq and muhabbat. So that this, this ilm and this knowledge that Sayyidina Musa is going to a higher reality because he knows the highest reality is Habiqat al Muhammadiyah. The, the knowledge is pertaining to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So then Allah said, I send you to one of my servants, not the only servant, one of my servants. Sayyidina Abbas Qidda is With the 70th shaykh in the Nashbandi order. In the Shajara, to give his support and his knowledge, his adab to the shaykhs. And each shaykh is inheriting from his teachings and his knowledge. And when I was going to describe that servant, what was the description of Sayyidina Khidr? He attained the Rahmah. And then we taught him knowledge. So means there's a category of servants in which they attained the Rahmah of Allah. And then Allah taught them. Right? So what now everyone's doing? They're doing the reverse. The Roman are learning all their fiqh and everything, becoming very angry, very hard, and they're wondering if Rahmah is going to come. But Allah gave the formula the reverse way. First attain your Rahmah, and then we will give you ilm al and knowledge. So how is attaining the Rahmah? Rahmah and how can you have anything to do with Rahmah and mercy if you're not in the presence of Allah's Rahmah? Which was the beginning of the talk. Keep the presence of Allah's Rahmah. Keep the presence of Rahmatan lil Alameen. And then Allah will give you a title that you attain the mercy of Allah's Rahmah. Because you kept the companionship of Allah's Rahmah and mercy. As a result of keeping the company of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah said, that's a very easy way to teach you. Your heart open, you throw knowledge into your heart and into your reality. That's what's important. In other words, we want to only read everything, memorize everything, develop bad manners and, and aggressive characters, but the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad to open these realities, open these blessings, and open these blessings. started by the mother. As soon as we call upon these only Allah, every difficulty to go away. They bring us to the ishq of the love and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad so that Allah will dress us and bless us.
The Prophet said that give us good character and good manners in Shalom. Muhammad Mustafa. So we see the Sulit and Fatima. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi this is Sheikh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.